Hello everybody and welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to do a review on the newest battle pass for the PC version of Warface Swarm. It is very similar to the previous in-game battle pass Mutini but it has some differences. So before I'm going to tell you the differences let's start from the beginning. What is the price of this battle pass? So first of all you have two versions one is free and two is premium. So the premium pass of the battle pass costs 499 credits and the premium pass with 4 levels is 699 credits. Nevertheless I would suggest you to get only the premium pass that costs 499 credits. The levels in this battle pass are extremely easy to get therefore I wouldn't suggest you to buy the battle pass with the 4 additional levels. Ok so after we cleared out the price of the battle pass let's talk about the rewards for each level. Let's begin with the free access. So first of all as soon as you start the battle pass you are going to get cheating armor achievement. After that on level 3 you are going to get toxicity balancing knife skin. Level 7 will give you the toxicity CZ75 auto skin. Level 11 will give you the hunter sting achievement. Level 13 will give you the Toxicity USAS 12 skin. Level 15 will give you 50 free cards. Level 19 will give you a permanent Toxicity XM556 microgun for the said. Level 21 will give you the Toxicity Caltech Sub 2000 skin. Then in 23 you are going to get the Arachno Rifleman achievement. And in 25 you are going to get the Insecticide Charm permanent. On level 29 for some reason you get the toxicity XM556 microgun for the set as a skin after they already gave the weapon of toxicity permanent. I don't know why it was made but in level 29 that's what you get on the free battle pass. On level 33 you are going to get the arachnid camouflage box. Now let me explain you a little bit about it. So you have two different kind of skins. You have the normal skins and you have the elite skins. The normal skins are given to you on the free battle pass and the elite skins are given to you only in the premium battle pass. The elite skins look different than the normal skins and they also give you a buff of 60% more sprint distance. There are 4 random skin boxes on the free battle pass and on the premium battle pass. When you reach the level with that box you are going to get automatically a random skin for one of the classes, Rifleman, Medic, Engineer or Sniper. Once you get that skin already in one box you cannot get it again. So let's say on the first box on level 33 I got the Rifleman skin. Therefore on the next box I will only have the Medic, Engineer and Sniper skin options. That way if you get all the 4 camouflage boxes throughout all the battle pass you are going to get all the 4 skins for all the 4 classes. Let's continue with the levels. On 37 you are going to get the Arachno Medic achievement. Level 41 will give you the Toxicity M14 Crazy Horse skin. Level 43 will give you another camouflage box. Level 45 will give you Arachno Engineer achievement. Level 47 will give you 50 free cards. Level 49 will give you the Toxicity Stoner LMG A1 skin. And level 51 will give you a permanent Toxicity Bellisong knife. On level 55 you are going to get Toxicity skin box. Now let me explain about this box as well. There are two boxes of this kind in the free battle pass and two boxes in the premium battle pass. Once you get to the level with this box in the battle pass you are going to get one out of four permanent weapons. It can be the F90 MBR Toxicity, Mug 7 Toxicity, Micro Roni Toxicity and Bushmaster BA50 Toxicity. And the same rule as the skins rule applies here as well. If you get the F90 MBR for the first box, the second box you will not be able to get it. Therefore next time you get this box throughout the battle pass you are going to get or Mug 7 or Micro Roni or the Bushmaster BA50. You can get up to 4 boxes that means that if you buy the premium battle pass you can get all of those weapons. 
On level 57 you are going to get another achievement, Arachno Sniper. Then on level 61 you are going to get another Camouflage Box. Level 63 will give you 50 free cards. Level 67 will give you the Arachno Set achievement. Then on 71 you will get the Toxicity ACR CQB Custom Skin. On level 73 you are going to get a permanent pistol, Toxicity CZ75 Auto. And on 75, you're going to get another Toxicity Weapon Box. Level 77 will give you 50 free cards. Level 81 will give you Chopper Triple Threat Toxicity Skin. Level 83 is going to give you an achievement, Arachnophobia. Level 85 will give you Toxicity SV98 Skin. Level 89 will give you Toxicity CZ Brand Skin. Then we continue to level 91, in which you are going to get Venomous Embrace achievement. Then on 93 you are going to get Toxicity M4 custom skin. After that you are going to get on level 96 another skin box. On level 97 another 50 free cards. 98 another achievement, Heart of the Swarm. On 99 you are going to get Biohazard Charm. And on level 100 you are going to get Cheating. M134 GAU19B Hybrid Permanent Said Weapon. So many rewards and we are still not in the premium battle pass rewards. In total you can get 6 permanent weapons in the free battle pass. You can get 4 body skins and you can also get 250 free cards. Which is not that bad for a free battle pass, don't you think so? And now let's move to the premium battle pass rewards. I will only try to explain unique things and unique levels. So first of all on level 10 you are going to get the Arachnid Elite Camouflage Box. Same concept as the normal boxes on the free battle pass. If you get one skin you will not be able to get it again. On level 15 you have the box which gives you 1 out of 4 toxicity weapons. On level 20 you have again another elite camouflage box. Level 30 you have another camouflage box. In level 35 you have another toxicity weapon box. Level 40 will give you the last and the fourth elite camouflage box. So I don't know if you noticed this but all the camouflage boxes are in level 10, 20, 30 and 40. It's much easier to get them in the premium battle pass than in the free battle pass. And also don't forget they have 60% more sprint distance. On level 54 you're going to get a permanent pistol, Cheating Maxim 9. Level 75 is going to give you a permanent knife, the Cheating HX Outdoors Trident. Level 95 will give you Cheating Weapon Box. In this box you can get 1 out of 4 weapons. And those weapons are Hawa Type 89 Custom, Uscone UNG 12, AM 17 and Truvelo CMS 20 on 42mm and all of those are of Cheating Series. Level 97 is going to give you Permanent Toxicity Caltech Sub 2000 Pistol. And in total in the premium battle pass you are going to get 750 cards, 4 elite body skins and 6 permanent weapons. So if we conclude this battle pass together with the free and the premium one you are going to get 1000 free cards that you can use to craft any weapon in the crafting section. You are going to get 4 elite body skins and 4 normal skins and you are going to get 12 permanent weapons. You can earn additional rewards for completing the daily tasks. And what about the daily tasks? I still didn't talk about them. So they are much more simple to complete now. There are 3 tasks and they are the same every single day. They just refresh so you can do them again. And the best thing is that now whether you are a PvP player or a PvE player you can complete the daily challenges and they are pretty simple. Eliminate 75 enemies, deal 10,000 damage and win 3 matches in PvP or PvE. For each daily task you are going to get 4, 5 and 6 stars for your battle pass level. And every day you are going to get 1000 Warface dollars 
5 resurrection coins and 5 anti-personal mines for completing these tasks. The weekly tasks are much more simple now. You have 4 free battle pass tasks and 3 premium battle pass tasks. The free battle pass tasks are giving you from 2 to 3 stars and the premium battle pass tasks give you 10 stars each. So let's conclude all the rewards of the battle pass. If you buy the premium version of the battle pass and you reach to level 100 in the battle pass, you are going to get 1000 free cards, 4 elite body skins, 4 normal body skins, 12 permanent weapons, more than 70,000 Warface dollars, more than 350 resurrection coins, more than 350 anti-personal mines, a lot of skins for many weapons, and you are also going to get a lot of charms and achievements. So is buying the battle pass worth it? I think it is. This is going to be one of the battle passes for a long time that I'm going to complete fully. I'm going to try to get level 100 in it. I want to know your opinion. Do you think this battle pass is worth it or Mutini battle pass was better? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you very much for watching this video, make sure to smash that like button because I worked really hard on this video, make sure to subscribe if you are new and I'll see you guys on my next videos. Thank you and bye bye.